welcome to a brand new edition of Backstage 360. We are on location at Graffiti Gallery at the top of the show. We'll have more on a very special event that will be held here. Plus, I will introduce you to a new filmmaker who is ready to put Winnipeg on the map. And later on in the show, I sit down with the guys from 6 a.m. But right now, we go behind the scenes of the comedy series Sunnyside. And it is courtesy of community volunteers Donna Lee Monroe and Tony Guerrero. We visited the set of Sunnyside and spoke with Wolseley residents and the cast and crew. I've always been interested in something that takes place with a bunch of different characters and, and, and goes to an interesting location and, and where, where the sketches were tied together by location. I had, I've had a few ideas uh, like that, a few ideas for that kind of thing. When, when Gary got together and, and we decided to zero in on a certain kind of neighborhood that's mixed between yuppies and people who are, you know, just uh, on the street, just that, that, that crazy mix. Uh, it, it led us to Sunnyside, and led, which led us to shooting here because this is a, a great area for that. It's got, it's got everything here. It's got a, yeah, amazing people. I love it. I love Winnipeg. I haven't yet really experienced the full joy of mosquitoes. Uh, I think that'll probably be in about 30 minutes. We base Sunnyside in an area called Parkdale in Toronto, which, which uh, especially Parkdale a few years ago, which was really in transition. And Sunnyside is a street that's not far from Parkdale. Uh, and Sunnyside Street used to lead to the Sunnyside Amusement Park. And uh, the Sunnyside sign is, is reminiscent of an amusement park. Whatever crazy stuff we think of, it comes true somehow in the show. My favorite one for me is there's a war in Sunnyside, and I think that's my favorite so far. Crazy! There's a war going on! You shouldn't be here! Yeah, I'm just going to the drugstore for my wife. Picking up tampons, huh? Here, take this! You can't give out guns! His wife needs tampons! Can I be, uh... Special. Having small miniature ponies and soldiers and clowns and it's so bizarre. Um, I think every day is, is pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, it's weird anyway. If it's not cracking you up, it's weird, <laughs> no matter what. Oh, hey, look. Run! Some Butterfinger dropped her. Tampons. For you, obviously. I think it's pretty cool, yeah. A different sort of vibe to the neighborhood. Gets people out and about. Oh, really? Curious. Yeah. yeah, I work with um, kids at Art City, and the people on the crew have been really nice explaining to the kids as we go around and take photos what they're doing. So, yeah, I think they're having a good influence on the vibe of the neighborhood, anyways. For sure. I like being able to see random things like you know, horses and army men. Yeah, army men today. <laughs> today. With guns. Yeah, with guns. And, yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. We like the irony of the name Sunnyside if we're dealing with all, you know, the, uh, the darker parts of life as well. But we're also, it's also the truth of it too, because there is a certain, hopefully, a certain. Uh, joy in the in the stories even when it's with going off in a in a horrible direction. You got the wrong ones. You have to go back to the store. It looks a lot like a movie theater here at Graffiti Gallery, Mr. Stephen Wilson, but it is a very special event, right, happening? Oh, yeah, for sure, Tracy. It's the, uh, the screening of uh, the Michael Jean film, A Woman of Purpose. Um, the, uh, the filmmaker and director, Jean-Daniel Lafond, is here to help us open the evening. So it's a really big night for us here today. Okay, so bonjour, welcome, bienvenue à Winnipeg, Jean Daniel, and that is the extent of my French, but. Yeah? Yeah. Because I, peu, I speak well, some French, not a lot, but wow. I can speak <laughs> French if you wish. But, oh, <laughs> but so. oh, a beautiful, beautiful film about a woman that you definitely know very well, your yes, wife. I know for uh, mm, now, I don't know, 26. Oh my goodness. Maybe 26, yes, you know, but uh, st she's still very young, and me, I'm still uh, 
I'm pretty old. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> You're pretty young, too. And you brought along, too, Peter Flagel, who, you know, you played Peter an important part. We will talk to Steve about the Winnipeg connection, but I think you were pretty blown away when you came with Mikhail Jean as Governor General in 2017. Yes, absolutely. I can remember actually uh, preparing the visit and asking uh, my contacts in Winnipeg where could we could visit, what centers would be useful. So I had a good list and then I looked at looked up the graffiti gallery and I was quite astounded by the kind of innovative um, um, programming that they had here. So I said, you know, this is where we needed to go and I think I made the right decision. The rest essentially is history. <laughs> I didn't know what we could do, um, not knowing what was about to happen. From the first day in my installation speech, I had said, and this is my vision, that I wanted really to give a voice to people who are not often heard. Why All right, okay, the Winnipeg Connection. She came here to this place and made a real impact on her on that night, correct, Steve? Yeah, did she ever. And it was, um, it was the children that made the impact, really. When you learn from an early age that what you have, your body is precious and it's stolen from you, your innocence, you become a child that's angry. When you don't have an outlet to speak, when you don't have art, for me, I went through incest and so art became my outlet. There's a lot of community art happening mm -hmm. in Winnipeg and especially in these neighborhoods throughout the North End. So um, the timing was perfect, uh, and the event was, like Peter said, um, it's all history now. It yes. had a huge impact on the neighborhood. Okay, so it brings me to the filmmaker. <laughs> There's so many different aspects of Mikhail Jean that we fell in love with. And, and th at that night, though, there were children that were asking, you know, asking questions. And I think it, she always felt that she always had to have a pulse on the community. And I think with this film, you really see that, whether it's meeting the Queen yeah. or doing her relief work Absolutely. in Haiti. Absolutely, you know. It's, it's very interesting, you know, because our first official visit, you know, after the installation of my wife as Governor General, you know, was in Winnipeg. It was the first one. And uh, when I made the film, you know, because when uh, when I came to, to to Winnipeg, it was not to make a film, you know, not at all. And we are lucky because uh, I decided to 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 make uh, the photograph videographer, you know, because in Riddle we have we had no 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 movies, no no videographer, nothing. And I decided to do that. And remember, Peter, it was a way to make archives, that's it, only to, to have a testimony, you know. And uh, now, after five years in Rideau Hall, when I decided to uh, see again to the, the films, you know, the archives, I made the decision to make a film. But it was not to make a film. I, not came he I, I, I never came here to make a film. Look, there are children everywhere. Seventy percent of the population is under 20, and those kids dream big. Uh, I think that's very important to have this testimony. You will see the film tonight, you know. Uh, there is the installation, and then the first sequence is action is here, here you know, in uh, North Pond Douglas, you know, uh, here. And for me, it is a key, you know, to know exactly what is the energy, what is the mystery which were running Michael Jean. And uh, you will see at least at the end of the film what is really the secret of this energy. But that's, that's important. The first energy was to talk with citizens, to make, and it was our decision, you know, to make this uh, position as Governor General a, a, a position as a citizen, yes. you know, as citizen talking to citizen and also talking for citizen because it was a way to bridge the citizen with the government, you know. Well, it's interesting tonight, the discussion, what do you think people will want to know? What will people be talking about? Well, certainly um, a lot of those people that were around doing the heavy lifting back in 2007 are going to be here tonight. And um, 
they're going to be wanting to, you know, go over old stories and see where we were and how far we've come, but also to celebrate the, um, the many years in office that Mikhail Jean had as Governor General. And um, because it was more than just the work she did here. Uh, people in this neighborhood in Winnipeg watched her travel the world and up in the Arctic and, and in all areas. Uh, every, everywhere she would go, she would bring the message of what was going on in Point Douglas wow. at that time. Mm -hmm. So um, there's a lot of people who were very um, invested in her uh, governorship and it's just gonna be a wonderful remembrance and a celebration of her time. Awesome, so Peter, you can add? Yes, absolutely. I think what's, what's uh, really instructive about our experience here at North Point Douglas is that um, the work with Steve and, and, the, and the community really helped us really radically redefine the way in which the mandate of the Governor General was carried out. So we essentially changed from simply meeting Canadians in their communities to really allowing com Canadians to leverage the symbolic power of the office to bring politicians, the government, business leaders together to find creative, innovative and lasting solutions to serious problems and we exported it across Canada and around the world and people are still being touched by the model. And amazing, we're here in the urban heart of Winnipeg, Graffiti Gallery, where this conversation first started. Your priority was to beat young people at risk, often the most disadvantaged. And to open up a dialogue, you believed in the power of art. So it all comes full circle. You can see the movie on the nfb.ca website. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Jean Daniel and Peter. Once again, honoring Mikhail Jean, a woman of purpose. Winnipeg, but that seemed a bit too ambitious, and I decided that the... Uh, Coming up, it's Snack and a Movie with filmmaker Nigel Weber perched on the rooftop at the Roost.